Hello. Hello. Ja, het is. Welcome to the Sanchez-Cruise. This is awesome. <laughs> Today I'm with Brandon Bernardi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so I understand that you're a secret hacker. Hmm. What are your secrets? My secret computer oh. hacking skills? It's uh, discipline and determination. Mm. <laughs> Very... <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite computer hacking movies? Oh, man, that's tough. I think I want to go with the cheesiest movie uh -huh. and go with the movie Hackers that came out, I think, in 1994, just uh -huh. because of how, um, how cheesy it was and how fun the movie was. And also uh, The Net with Sandra Bullock. Uh -huh. that, was a fun one. that was a fun movie. But recently, I, probably the one movie that comes the closest, even though no one looks like the guy in the movie, uh, is Black Hat with, mm -hmm. um, I think the guy's name is Chris Helmsworth or whatever. The guy who plays Thor in all the Marvel movies. Um, he's in the movie, and Black Hat shows a lot more accurate depiction of what we see on the screen when we're sitting in front of a computer and trying to do things that people tell us not to do. Do you think hackers can end global oppression? I think how I think hackers can help end global oppression by leveling the playing field. I think um, with our access to technology, because we don't have missiles or tanks or very large guns, but we have an equal. We have the mind, a playing field of the mind, and if we can disrupt systems way more effectively than a missile can, I think um, computer activism or hacktivism can can help us reach those goals have you heard of Aaron Schwartz have you heard of Aaron Schwartz yeah yeah I've heard of Aaron Schwartz mm -hmm. <laughs> do you feel whether that justified do I feel it was justified what happened to him yeah no no I don't think it was justified yeah it's a really, it's a really bad situation, and it just proves how dangerous a, a brilliant mind can be, or a smart, a smart person can be, to the, the federal government. I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> so are you a Star Wars fan? I am a Star Wars fan, um, but more, I like Star Wars, but I love Star Trek. <laughs> I would pr I would prefer to see Star Trek translated into the Nepizad, into Navajo language than Star Wars. Um, so Star Star Wars is like junk food to me, <laughs> and then Star Trek is like ooh this is like this is a good rounded healthy oh. meal that I'm gonna enjoy. <laughs> um. No, we haven't. I can't believe the. I can't. I can't even remember the last time I went to a movie theater. Um, like I said, we're always busy, and um, so as my partner said, we might go see a movie today if we're lucky. Um, I might go to Albuquerque and hang out there and and watch some junk food, aka oh. Star Wars, <laughs> which I heard is really good. So uh, it sounds like we're going to have a good time if we have time today. So we'll see. If you were a food, what would you be? Oh man, if I was a food, I want to say, I want to say, just so I could get some good, feel good points, I want to say I would be uh, blue corn mush. <laughs> but mm. I'd probably, I would likely be Navajo, a Navajo taco. Not Indian taco, Navajo taco. It was <laughs> Oh, it was nice talking to you, too. <laughs> Thank you for being at my show. Awesome. It was an honor. <laughs> I fight the power, please. Fight the power!